the things I find fascinating about us fly tires is where we do our tying. And I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour around my fly tying station because I've had lots of people asking um, what I use because they've seen it on some of the videos I've been producing and on the TV show. So here we are. This is my fly tying station. Um, it was created by a very clever bloke called Craig Hilditch, um, Hilditch Wood Designs. Uh, this thing is made of oak. Uh, it's a bespoke piece of kit which is really lovely and I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a, a look around how I do some stuff. So um, first and foremost, as you can probably see, it's a desktop design. So I've got it on a, a little desk and um, the drawers are full of bits and pieces. I have to tell you one other thing, uh, a massive confession actually, my fly tying station doesn't normally look like this. Um, as you can probably imagine, it's usually covered in bits of fluff and feathers and all sorts of other things. So a little hint here is some of the flies that I've been tying are in a little pile in the corner. But let's have a little tour around. Um, so first of all, let's look at the drawers. So nicely organized, well, fairly nicely anyway. Bottom drawer, loads of dubbing, various different stuff. I've got different bags with different systems of dubbing in, so some natural, some synthetics. Try to split them all off. Next drawer down, some fly boxes, quite a lot of fly boxes actually, as you can probably see, some feathers as well. Next up, kind of tools and other bits and pieces, some um, interesting bits in there. All the clip boxes there, the little lenses that I use to do the macro shots that I've been using. Next up, various different bits and pieces of mono, some French leaders, some braid, a couple of spools of Grand Max, which are the kind of go-to um, fluorocarbon that I use on the rivers. And then the top one, we have some more dubbing. How much dubbing has one man got? I hear you ask, but um, I'm sure you're all in the same boat. Um, some various other bits and pieces and the entire kind of collection of all the various different hooks that I use. You'll notice that most of them are Hanak. Very good reason for that. I rate them very highly indeed. And in fact, I would say that they are the best around, but there we are. Lots of different threads. Really like the look of this stuff, actually. Don't know if any of you have seen this, but this is the fish on stuff which John Tyzak and his mates produce. Um, this is the ultimate tying fled, thread, thread, thread even, uh, which is really good stuff, super strong. Okay, so that's the drawers, very simple, but let's get on to the really interesting bit, which is the station itself. So, as I say, it's made of oak. It was commissioned um, by my wife as a birthday present, uh, which was rather lovely, from Craig, who's a guy I met at um, one of the fly fishing fairs. In fact, it was the European Sport Fishing Show up in Bristol. Um, saw him working and was fascinated. My dad was a chippy, a carpenter, so I've always been interested by woodwork stuff. And when I saw what Craig was doing, I just thought it was phenomenal. So this is a handmade piece of kit made of oak. Um, it's got seven drawers on the top and a couple around the side. You can see I've got various different bits to the side of it. So there's all the Sharpies that I use to color in uh, nymph skin and various other bits and pieces. A big old pile of peacock feathers. Um, how many of those does one man need? Again, I hear you ask. Uh, a couple of tool stationy bits. Um, a very nice fly stand, which is made of burr elm, which is from Pro Fly Stands, and something to hold all the bobbins. So let's have a little look through the drawers. Um, I tried to keep organized, but you know, it is tough um, because when you start to get into a rhythm of tying, I find that sort of stuff gets chucked all over the place. So the drawers contain various different items. So what I tried to do is keep all the feathers in one drawer. So kind of bird related products in there. Although obviously that's not a bird related product, is it? That's uh, <laughs> some deer hair. But anyway, we won't worry too much about that. Middle drawer um, is where all the tungsten beads are and I have them sorted in bags. So all the copper stuff is in one bag, all the silver in another and so on. Um, then we move across to this one. This is kind of my, I suppose, working dubbing drawer. So if you look in the bottom drawer, there was a, a load of other dubbing. Um, this is the stuff that I'm using a bit more regularly. Moving up to this bit, long thin drawer on this one. Um, so I've got lots of kind of body materials in here, things like strip quills, some nymph skin in there um, for, for tying up bugs and things like the um, 
disco shrimp and other bits and pieces these things are quite interesting as well just started tying with these a little bit micro fibbits um, look like paintbrush fibers got them in some various different colors um, moving along on the top some threads in there the drawers are bespoke um, sizes so that the the, um, the bobbins fit in there nicely um, some slightly different hooks so ones that I use for other things um, specifically things like these ones here the Palatrax range which I use for some of the sort of the carp fly fishing that I do occasionally um, in this one is a kind of a spare tool drawer various bits and pieces in there including UV torch um, extra kind of bits and pieces of bobbins and dubbing teasers this one's made out of a lolly stick with a piece of velcro glued to it um, this was from a, a magnum I think something like that there you go scalpel um, this thing is uh, a piece of utter genius on my part I think this is a homemade hair stacker which has been made out of a tube of lip sill so maybe one day I'll do a video and show you how to do that it's quite satisfying I couldn't believe I was gonna to have to pay 15 quid for a little tube to stack my hair in but um, managed to find a way around it um, there are also a couple of drawers on the side like so so again useful for long thin stuff so I've got some goose hair and a few other bits and pieces in there the kind of the long feathers that I don't want to leave out um, with the with the peacock so yeah really interesting little thing to tie and now the whole point of this is that it was made for me so I'm a left-handed tire and that's why it swings round in this L shape if you're a right-handed tire you could go with it the other way but I need the room this side of the station not that side and when Craig Hilditch put this together the idea was that it was portable so you could stick it under the stairs bring it out when you tie I have to tell you one thing it's flipping heavy <laughs> I mean it's made of oak and um, you know you're not going to be moving it around very far but I think the sort of the counter side of it is that it's such a beautiful piece of furniture that it's fine for it to be out in your kind of your, your main house living area I just really love it and you know the whole family are kind of so used to it by now it's just part of me really which is really lovely um, when I'm tying my little routine is to have a just a rubbish bag to my left so I can drop all the odds and ends and off cuts in there and there's my vice nothing flash pretty simple very functional does the job very nicely um, just one other thing I will show you which is the sort of the the thing that sometimes when you're tying and you get a little bit frustrated and you think actually I can't be bothered there's a little bit of inspiration that I keep on my desk all the time which is this fella this is my England medal silver from the home international on the river river ebu in 2017 and my qualification medal from the national championships uh, which were held on the river d so that's just something that sometimes when i'm tying and you need a little bit of inspiration and a question asking to yourself why do i carry on doing this that's one of the things that just keeps you going so there you are. I hope you've enjoyed a little tour around my fly tying station. I um, hope it's not too boring for you. I'm sure not everybody will be interested in seeing where I sit and tie flies, but I thought some people might. So that's why I gave you this little tour around. Um, keep subscribing to the channel. Keep liking all the videos. And plenty more fly tying stuff coming up. And uh, thanks as ever for uh, keeping an eye on what I'm doing. And um, see you on the river. Cheers.